Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. In today's video, I'm calling, which I'm calling, uh, Racing with Hidden Rush Deception. That is not an easy challenge. Tell you what, Hidden Rush Deception has its name because it's, well, fast. It's, it's, it's called Rush because I, I would suppose it's fast? Yes. Hidden Rush Deception is incredibly fast, and in this particular game, it is very hidden and very rushy. Now I am playing my own uh, custom Anubian deck, the deck code in the description of this video if anybody wants to try it out. Um, and uh, this is totally a race. We're just going to race to the finish. It was kind of a fun and interesting game. I'll show you guys how it went. So he starts with the Feelid Tracker. I think that's the name of that card. I start with a Blitzy Reaver and a Fanatic of Cahoon. However you say that, I don't know say that. Fanatic of something somewhere some fanatic then we got this one here the phase crawler which is a three two hidden i've got my nice malaysian magistrate which brings back a friend the anubian as soon as it dies and it's a three three body i love this card that's somewhat like one of my favorite cards uh so he's got a couple of hidden creatures on the board quite a decent amount of damage three three and and hidden hidden and i've also got a decent amount of damage three three and one comes back to life he gives dark knives to his uh i forget what that one's called actually no that one's called i've never seen it before this game so uh yeah and then we have got team up what an interesting card because that gives twin strike and hidden to his hidden creatures ah okay so he's getting quite a decent amount of damage on the board i've got big bony bastard in hand as a possibility I've also got a Pyramid Warden in hand. In retrospect, perhaps I should have gone for Big Bony Bastard, but I was sort of thinking of getting Nephilus Guardian a turn early and protecting my face a bit from some of that uh, Orpheo's Distraction, a.k.a. Cheat, uh, as it used to be called. More aptly. More aptly titled Cheat, I think. Uh, anyway. So as I can say, he's 19 health, and I'm 21 health. There's the Cheat aka Orpheus Distraction going down on the board and of course he can't really trade into any of my creatures at the moment because if he does he loses them and I've got a decent amount of damage on the board one of them comes back to life and we're both at a similar amount of health once I get my turn anyway there we go there's team up again so that makes his cards hidden again like I say very hidden and very rush and certainly deception so what can I do here? I can certainly drop a nice big bony bastard on the board. And I can continue to race face. It is a close race. There's the Rune of Fire in the Sanctuary. I'm just going to go with Hidden until next turn because I did see my Over the Line appear in my hand. And uh, it is one possibility to Blitzy into his face with Over the Line. But he's got to do something in this turn because he is uh, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 3 points away from lethal. So if he's got a Dark Knives, or uh, an Assassin's Aim, or anything to buff one of his creatures up just a little tiny bit, then he wins. Or if he had that Rune of Fire, <laughs> that would have done the trick as well. Uh, it's a good thing I grabbed it. So he's Orpheo's Distraction. And swinging into face, which gets him enough favor to buy the ambitious adventurer, because he's digging. He doesn't have what he needs. That is what we know. The only question is, can he top deck a Dark Knives or an Assassin's Aim or something like that? And the answer, I'm assuming at this point, by how long he's being delayed. I'm assuming the answer is no. So we flash the, flash the GG, and that is it. I hope you have all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.